right, is Shopify drop shipping dead? a topic that I've gotten uh, a good amount of feedback on, a lot of questions about. For those of you guys that don't know me already, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam. Uh, we're already over a thousand members strong, over our next goal is 10,000, so let's do it. So, I'm actually on my way to the airport right now, I'm heading over to San Francisco, but I wanted to make this video on, you know, this topic because I do see a topic that it does get constantly asked about, is Shopify dropshipping debt. You know, obviously, obviously you see a lot of people doing it, you know, a lot of people are trying to teach people how to do it and a lot more. And when it comes down to it is the truth is that it is not dead. And there's a few reasons why, right? So the, one of the first reasons is, you know, when it comes to e-commerce and drop shipping, there's so many different products that are, you know, brought into the marketplace every single week, every single month, that it's pretty hard for, you know, e-commerce and the process of, buying pe of people buying things online to, you know, be, you know, be dying out. There's consistent products being brought into the marketplace all the time. There's new people innovating. You know, new people t trying and testing all these great products. So, you know, there's literally a website called Kickstarter.com that if you go on it, there's literally thousands of products on there where people are just, you know, starting to test, starting to launch. And these are products that will later on be in the marketplace. When it comes down to it, you know, people say, is it saturated? Is there a lot of competition? Yeah, there definitely could be competition for some products. But the truth is that Shopify dropshipping, it's really hard for it to be dead because there's so many products that are continuously bring, being brought into the marketplace. I thought I almost got pulled over there. Uh, we're good. Consistently, products being brought into the marketplace. That's one of the main reasons why you know there it's hard for drop shipping, e-commerce, and drop shipping to die out. The next one is you know there's a few different opportunities within e-commerce and drop shipping, right? You have your regular, you know, your regular drop shipping where you're getting your products from AliExpress, and then again you're setting up on your Shopify store, you're running your ads, and people are buying. Now you also have products that are called what's called print on demand right and print on demand is a whole another ball game when it comes to e-commerce and there's actually a good amount i would say there's probably a little less competition because it's not as easy as you know the whole finding products on aliexpress and then sell them, selling them on your shopify store so print on demand the way that it works is basically you get products that are laid out either you know t-shirts phone cases pillowcases towels pretty much anything you have shoes leggings all these different products they come with blank images and from there you pretty much find custom made images and you take your custom made images you put them on the product and then from there you drive traffic to those products and you sell those products right so that's called print on demand and there's a whole specific niche just for print on demand products and when it comes down to print on demand there isn't as many people doing it and there is a good amount of opportunity within doing print on demand but I know for a fact that since print on demand isn't as easy for everybody to do because you do have to find custom made designs it is a market within e-commerce or a segment within e-commerce that has less competition and definitely isn't dying out because there's so many um, so many designs that you can possibly put on all these products there's gonna be continuous designs I mean literally you can just go on you know any of these websites so you can find like you know designers and have them whip up designs for your t-shirts your phone cases and they're pretty much never gonna stop these guys are creatives you know they're really creative people so they're gonna be able to continuously continuously create these designs so that's a whole nother area within e-commerce that you know is completely still alive I actually have a police officer right behind me so hopefully I don't get pulled over um, come on there he goes there he goes there he goes all right, all right we're, good, we're good yeah that's that's the second reason why you know e-commerce and drop shipping is nowhere near dead because you have again tons of products you've brought into the marketplace you have Another method of drop shipping, which is print on demand, which is a whole other ball game, which is you know hasn't really been too you know people are doing it, but not as much, and it's an area that I even you know want to try to get into myself. So two re that's the second reason why it's not dead. The third reason why it's not dead is because you know even though you see all these people coming into e-commerce and drop shipping, and you know you see them getting into it and learning it and testing and doing it, it doesn't mean that they're fully committing all the way. We have tons of people that you know you guys know that uh, I have me, and my business partner Samir, obviously. You know, we teach, uh, we have our P2P Accelerator where we teach students to go pretty much from A to Z, how to learn from how to set up a Shopify store, all the way to how to launch, how to launch their first Facebook ad, to how to run their Instagram influencer shout outs, pretty much everything, right? But we also have people that reach out to us through social media. So we have people reaching out to us all the time, right? Apart from our students. And when they reach out to us, they're telling us like, hey, I tried out, you know, I tried three to you know three to five products. I didn't have any success, so I completely stopped drop shipping. So I'm kind of trying out this new thing now. You know, we have people that try drop shipping, but because they don't get to learn the right way or the right techniques, right tactics, they don't get to see the results and they end up giving up. And because of that happening, even though you have so many people that are coming in or saying that they're gonna do it, 
it doesn't mean that they're doing it the right way or that they're doing it, you know, they're doing enough of it. If you're gonna come in and you're gonna try e-commerce and drop shipping, you can't get started, only try three to five products and you know expect to get result, instant results, right? There's thousands of products that you can always test and try. And if you're only testing three to five, and you're giving up after that, I mean, how can you really expect to get any results? Uh, when we first got started, me and my business partner, um, Samir, it took me, you know, we, I set up a whole store with 10 or 12 different products and tested those out and none of those worked, so I completely wiped it. Uh, so I, I literally failed before I even started seeing my first sale. So for anyone just getting started, you know, those are three reasons why dropshipping is not dead. You have thousands of products coming into a marketplace. You have another area within dropshipping, which is print on demand, which obviously the more, you know, as I try it out and I get some success with it, I'll share with you guys on how you can do it. And then you also have, you know, not enough people that are learning the right way and really taking advantage of the right strategies to, you know, get the results. So for anyone coming in thinking about getting started in e-commerce and drop shipping, you know, don't hesitate. There's people buying things online all the time. Like you guys see, you know, Jeff Bezos actually just became the richest man in the world. I saw an article last week, you know, he's worth a hundred billion now and it's all because of Amazon. For those of you guys that don't know Jeff Bezos, he's the founder of Amazon and he just became the richest man in the world. And what was he doing? Uh oh it's not crash here. What was he doing? He's obviously, he has, you know, he has Amazon. They're selling tons of different products online. So again, you know, e-commerce overall, it's an incredible opportunity for anyone that's looking to get started to, you know, start selling things online. And if you are interested in getting started, me and my business partner, Samir, put together an exact blueprint of how we're able to go from zero to 220 grand a month, you know, with drop shipping. So we have a P2, we call it the P2P accelerator. We're only looking for students that, you know, are really committed to getting the results because again, Shopify dropshipping is not easy, but if you put in the work and you follow the proven strategies that we have, you know, you can definitely see the results. So if you got any value from this video, leave me a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, what you just went over about the different products into the marketplace, what you think about print on demand, if you, if you tried it out, how, to, how it's gone for you. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.